Hey, today we're going to unbox the Liberty 360 degree towable excavator or backhoe. So it comes in a plywood box and you'll see some things strapped in and you can get them out, uh, the seat, the manual, as well as the uh, two legs with the wheels on. You're going to see them uh, near the top. So you can get those out and once you get those out you can either knock the four sides of the box off or you could do like uh, we did here and we just used our crane to uh, lift it up. So probably most people would just knock the four sides apart and they would have it setting right on a plywood platform which would be an easy way to get that going. get the whole machine exposed and you take off the bubble wrap around it you'll find the two legs nestled in along the side which you'll want to get those out as well as uh, another package that has a few items in it as well including the handles for the controls and a couple other things you can see them in there and uh, the hitch etc so You'll take, first of all, loosen the nuts that hold these uh, three pins in place. The pin I'm undoing now, is, the center one there, is the, one, the larger one, and it's the one that is actually the pivot point for your backhoe arm. The upper one that I'm taking out right now is the one that takes the hydraulic cylinder. So, you take them off, and there's a variety of ways that you could do that, but you you can take the other pin out and you can slide the arm right in there. Now you can see there that uh, we have the center pin in. I Somehow I didn't get that videoed. And we're getting ready to adjust the hydraulics um, cylinder to fit exactly. And what we did is we just lifted this up until it was right at the right angle. Because these are all tested at the factory and the hydraulic is a closed system, you can't just pull the cylinders in and out unless you take a hose off and then it's messy. So if you are able to lift it up, uh, that's, uh, that's great. And so here I am uh, working on uh, getting this ready and see that I have a little bit more to go. So I'm raising it up a little bit more so that it can the pinhole is going to line up uh, exactly where I need it to be. Finally I get it to where the pin uh, fits and I'm ready to stick my pin in and secure that cylinder. After putting those bolts in, you get the other arm, which is uh, right to my left right now, and you turn that around. I used our crane. You can use uh, extra help or anybody, but you lift it up and you put the pin, the pivot pin in, and then after that, you raise the bucket up in such a way that the holes line up again. When you get it to the right amount, you put that pin in once again, and when you put that in, you then fasten the nut. Next, you raise up the end that has the hitch on it, and you put the two legs on it. The pin for Securing these legs is handily right on the holding bracket that's right above this sleeve. So you just slide it in, take the pin and the cotter key out, 
and when the holes line up you then just drop the pin down in and put the cotter pin back on the bottom. Next there's a hitch and a ball for towing it and you can there's two bolts and washers lock washers and nuts you slide that in and you hook that up. This is all a pretty simple process but if you take it step by step it's really helpful for two men to do it. I did it by myself because I had a crane so if you have a tractor or a hoist of some sort that you can lift it up it's easily done by one person. If you don't have any hoist or if you don't have something like that um, then it's going to be quite difficult to do it by one person. Finally putting the wheels on I used the hoist to lift this up and I had to lift it up uh, high enough so that I could slide the sleeves for the axles in. Don't put these on backwards. One time I put these together, my very first one, and I had the tires going the wrong way. So make sure that they're going the way that you want them to. And then you just uh, slide them in. They might be a little tight because of the paint, but uh, you know, a few taps, either with your foot or a push or two, and you'll get it. Out of the bag of parts you're going to find two handles. These handles have a nut and a lock washer and you're going to want to take them apart and take the nut off and put the nut on first and then the lock washer so the lock washer is between the nuts. Finally grab the seat. There are four bolts with washers and nuts uh, on that orange flange. Take them off and put the seat on. So make sure the seat is sliding forward and backwards good. And after you tighten the first two, and you can go back and tighten the back two as well, and your seat is secure. Finally, uh, check the oil, make sure there's, there's an oil plug, uh, check on each side, so check both of those, and after checking them, you can put some gas in it and fuel it up. There's a key that is zip tied to the motor, you're going to want to find that key and take that key and uh, turn it on. There's a choke that you can slide over, which you should put that on to start it, and then on and on and off. If you have checked your hydraulic fluid, you can start it up and you can begin to run the controls of the backup. And so you can check, check, make sure all your connections are tight, that there's no leak, and then once you have the pistons for the um, backhoe, the hydraulics, uh, where they are at the uh, longest, or the where that you can begin to fasten your hoses down and secure them. Make sure when you're first testing that you have enough hose 
for when the bucket is all the way back towards the boom and then you can adjust your if you have a mechanical thumb or hydraulic thumb you can adjust that and to move the thumb out of the way you just uh, put the pin in and you can lift a thumb up and there's different settings where you can put it out of the way if you want and so here we're going to put it out of the way uh, and put the pin at the very top and that keeps that thumb out of the way for when you're digging. You can move it down for when you want to lift something up. So that's all there is to uh, assembling your new Liberty 360 degree towable excavator. So I hope you this helps you. I hope you have a great time. Click like and subscribe and you can get any other updates that we might have on any of our equipment. Thank you.